Good morning guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make your protein bars or we can call them crunch granola bars and this is completely gluten free, casein free, soy free and uh, vegan. So um, let's see what we can do first. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the ingredients but before I go into that part I'm going to show you where to buy and how to buy these ingredients. So uh, I don't want to buy from a package label because they always have high fructose corn syrup, cane sugar, uh, many different things, soy lecithin along with it. This is a, a dried nut. You need this for this recipe. Uh, so I just got it from HEB. You can buy it from any kind of uh, health store as well, but always look for the labels. It should not have anything other than what it is, what it is. So, and I also have some dried fruits, blueberry. Usually the dried blueberries do come with cane syrup. Uh, so they are organic from Amazon that comes just the dried blueberries without any additives, colors or preservatives. And then over here I have the raw sunflower seeds and I have um, the cherries here and I have the cranberries as well. So we're gonna mix everything in there and the main ingredient is the gluten-free old-fashioned rolled oats and guys you need this kind of the size because we are going to do it in a granola bar so make sure it is not too fine it has to be a thick consistency here and of course we have our chia seeds so this is completely optional to have chia seeds and there is also coconut sugar in this recipe but i did not use that if you want extra sugar in that go ahead and use the coconut sugar but we try to keep the hyperglycemic index very low so this is the lowest possible we can do now let's get started so i have two ripe bananas i have mashed them in so it's easy to mix it in so i'm going to put that in and then um, okay and then i have one third cup of chia seeds you can add sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds or anything i did have some in my nut mix as well and this is our uh, chopped fine nuts um, from um, the almond cashew and there is no peanut of course it's peanut free almond cashew and uh, some raisins also and uh, so i have chopped all of them along with sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds all of them raw so i'm just going to take half cup of that and put it into our mix and then comes the dried fruits uh, so i have the cherry dried blueberry dried and i also have a couple of raisins in here so this is half a cup as well you can add or uh, delete more because uh, it depends on how sweet you want this granola bars to be so we are adding these in guys okay now we are going to add the most important ingredient for this granola bar is our rolled oats so what we need is one one by four cup of rolled oats it's a uh, one third cup and just a little bit so do look at the description box so you don't have to panic there is all the ingredients and the measurements in our description box so you will know how much to add and how much to delete and of course play with it according to your taste so i'm just mixing this really nicely it's very well mixed guys so it has to be like this consistency not too runny and uh, of course not too hard as well so right now we are going to um, transfer this to our uh, baking bowl so what i have done here is i have pasted it with a uh, little bit of olive oil it's better to uh, you know do a little bit here and there um, so i'm just going to transfer this if you don't have parchment paper, uh, you can definitely use wax paper as well. So I'm just putting all of this in here. Okay, here's um, how we have to do it. You just have to make sure it is really, really tightly packed. So that way um, our bars will be thick and less greasy. So now it is getting ready to go into our oven. All right, here I have set a temperature to 350 degrees and it is on bake and our uh, granola protein board has to go in the middle rack guys. And uh, let's heat it up for 18 to 20 minutes and I will come back to you soon. 
All right, so it is out of the oven right now, as you can see on my table, but it has to be uh, outside in the room temperature to cool down for another 10 to 15 minutes, and then I will show you how to cut it and uh, how to taste it. Over here, and uh, you can transfer that. You can just take the whole thing out, and you can remove this. You can just put it right over here. And you know, over here, I'm going to show you how thick it has come. All right, this is how your granola bar or protein bar or breakfast bar looks like. And I'm going to take a piece and show it to you guys how chewy it is. Take this piece. My goodness, it's so chewy, guys. Look at that. 